products. Let's look at what is digital product management. Okay, here is a favorite series, at least to uh, mine, uh, Money Iced Part Five that was uh, released on Netflix. So why did why why am I bringing this up? Because we are going to talk about Netflix, uh, you know, as an example, and see uh, how digital product management will be will be. So uh, what are the characteristics? You know, digital products uh, generate a lot of data. So for example, if I'm uh, a Netflix user and I go and look at, and I have a history of what, um, what are the, um, you know, movies and shows and, uh, uh, you know, documentaries that I've watched, what are, there's a lot of data in terms of uh, whether I started watching and I left uh, it halfway. Uh, if it's a website, then uh, how, where did I click? If it's a sign up process, till what point did I go? You know, uh, or uh, is, is there a drop off at the first uh, screen, second screen, or is it uh, the, a drop off at the payment? So there is so much of data that can be collected uh, from digital products. And that's why we say that digital products generate a lot of data. And uh, it also allows constant iterations. So that means you can constantly, you know, iterate uh, those products in, in terms of getting in newer versions, not only bug fixes, but some enhancements and usability fixes. So many things can, uh, you know, go in very quickly and uh, in a very frequent and faster uh, manner. And not only do we uh, build, develop and deliver the product, but we utilize the data to enhance the product. For example, taking the example of Netflix itself, uh, do you know, uh, uh, did you know that, uh, you know, the icons that you see, uh, if there's a movie or a show that is being shown, I will see a different set of icons according to my preferences. And uh, some other user might see a different icon for the same movie, for the same show. Uh, the image uh, that uh, that is shown over there. So uh, it's as per the analytics that they run, they want to utilize the data they, uh, on my usage and then they want to show me uh, in a way that I will be uh, tempted to watch that particular uh, show or movie. So that is utilizing data to enhance the product, right? Or even it could be like, if you see, we were talking about drop-offs from the pages. So can I, you know, where are the maximum drop-offs happening? Is it at the payment? Is there something wrong at the payment uh, option? Is the payment gateway not working? What is the possible cause? And so we can go back and utilize the data to you know, enhance the product, maybe make some corrections and so on. So DPM stands for Digital Product Management. What does it involve? It involves this complex analysis because there will be so much of data coming in, right? What is the data to look at, what to look for and so on. So then let's, how, how can we remember what is important? So let's look at the ABCDs of digital product management. One, <coughs> excuse me. One of course is analytics. Second is business modeling. You would have seen, uh, you would have heard about the business model canvas, right? So how do we uh, talk about what is our value proposition? Who are our partners? What are the processes we will do in-house? What are the processes we will outsource? Uh, who is our target segment? Who is the customer whom we want to sell to? Okay. What are the uh, what are the possible uh, target segments? What is the channel? Uh, you know, in uh, with which? Uh, what are our revenues? Um, what is our cost structure and so on? So that is business model. Then coordination, of course, within the teams is important in order to have a um, in terms of digital product management and design thinking. So we'll see a little bit more about uh, design thinking as well. But these are the A, B, C, D, so as to say, of the digital product management. So I'll move on. And also the product must evolve. So what do we understand by evolve? We all, always know that there are always some technology um, enhancements that are happening around the world. There are some other uh, uh, things like uh, maybe, uh, you know, if you've heard of PESTEL, uh, that is uh, uh, political, economic, social, technological, uh, environmental, and legal. So 
there could be a new regulation or there could be some other political there could be so many other factors because of which we want to evolve or in terms of the usability so instead of taking two clicks for the user to do the same thing can i do it in just a single click you know that will make it easier for the user and more the adaptability of the product will go um, uh, will become better so let's look at uh, so this is one picture which shows you you know what can be uh, how can we use the metrics to improve the system so we start here at the top uh, with the system goals users uh, products or service and then we look at what data or info should we gather or not gather do the measurements then what did we learn how are we doing then the insights plus tracking and that we get and how do we improve um, do we need to re refine our goals so that's that that goes back as an intro so i think this is pretty much intuitive and we spoke of some examples like drop offs and uh, you know uh, using customer data um, to improve the products uh, look for preferences and so on yeah so uh, what is common between the two in the physical uh, the traditional product management and uh, the uh, digital product management so this is the value proposition canvas which you might be aware of where we have products and services there are there is some pain relievers that we give so typically a product uh, would serve as a pain reliever for some pain for the customer or as a gain creator and then how does uh, how do we look at on the other side the customer jobs to be done what are, what does the customer what is the customer trying to do you know and what are their pains and what kind of gains can be provided so what is common is of course putting the users first identifying the real pain points evaluating addressable markets so not so the what what is the market what is the segment uh, of the customers that we need to address it's not that my product will be uh, you know uh, sold to everyone so for example uh, uh, maybe like a music uh, uh, like uh, take the example of spotify not everyone may be a music lover so which kind of segment uh, is it that we are trying to address right then bringing together a team so you know in both the cases you have to get together a team of uh, you know um, the who works on the product prototyping of course create a prototype of the product uh, which is different from mvp uh, you guys must be familiar with mvp the but a prototype can even be you know um, where you have a prototype on the screen where uh, you can show or even something uh, you know a paper prototype or something of course testing and uh, delivering the product and continuously iterating in the market etc so these are common between the two let's move on so as a digital product manager this is what uh, your avatar would look like you are handling so many responsibilities so let's look at what those responsibilities are of course lead the development of a digital product or a suite of such products analyze the market to make sure product continues to offer advantages over its com uh, competitors right we need to keep the competitive edge understand the user persona buyer persona and develop unique value propositions for both and of course monitor analyze on the analytics and continually improve you know so that we have a better lifetime value of the customer as we understand the lifetime value is the total value we get from a customer throughout uh, the lifetime so it's not just the initial purchase or you know it's it's um, overall so if i am a tata sky subscriber then i will be providing uh, you know um, payments every month or a, on a yearly basis and that uh, the total uh, that i do over a period of time till maybe i stop being a customer or till the end is the lifetime value so how do we really boost that yeah so and create and prioritize uh, you know the um, yeah so this these are the last uh, these are the um, these are the things that a digital product manager would 